I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and this is Cooking Like Alpha Beta Pie. Tonight I'm going to show you a very inexpensive recipe so it's going to save you on your pocketbook but it's also going to fill you up and it's going to be tasty. You got me? It's all good. This is how to cook fried cabbage. Now you might not think of it, it's so simple. This costs like a buck or two, baby. This can feed you for a while, okay? Cabbage is one of the most inexpensive ingredients there is. And it's super good for you because it has it's a sulfurous vegetable, okay? So what we're doing is we just have a, fry, a large frying pan on my stove top here, and it's just heating up with a little bit of oil. I have like half a tablespoon of oil in there. Now I'm gonna add some um, bacon fat just because I save my bacon fat when I cook my bacon. You don't throw anything out, guys. You can cook with just about everything that you, you know, have in your house in your kitchen, you know what I mean? Like, don't just throw things out. You can also um, use bones again. You put them in stocks, it's gonna be fabulous. Don't worry, save a whole lot of money. Okay, so I'm gonna chop this guy in half. I put about, I don't know, half a teaspoon of bacon fat in there, and eventually I'm gonna put a little bit of butter just at the end. Yeah, I know, I like it, too bad. I'm cutting it into quarters. All right, now this has a little bit of a core. See how that is a little core? I'm just gonna cut that core out because it's just a little harder than I want it to be. Now I've already removed a couple of the out outer leaves because I, uh, you know, they didn't look so pretty and that's what you're supposed to do. But I'm also making a gorgeous borscht for my mom this evening. Make sure you check out that recipe for how to cook um, beef borscht in stoneware ramekins. They're fantastic, okay? So there goes my core. Bye, you can eat that if you want to. It's just hard and it cooks, takes a lot longer to cook. So I wanna make sure that this is nice and warm, which it is. Move all that around, okay? Gorgeous. Now I'm just gonna slice I don't know, half inch, half inch slices all the way through, okay? You just wanna get shreds like that. All the way through, whole cabbage. This may look like a whole lot of cabbage, but it's gonna shrink up quite a bit in that pan, don't you worry. Okay, so that's about a whole cabbage, minus a few leaves on the outside. Next, I'm gonna put it all in my pan. Make sure you use a large pan. Don't worry, it'll go down. It's gonna take you a little while. Take a while, but you're good. Okay, next, we're gonna season this up. We're gonna go a little bit southern on it today. Southern feel. Okay, we're gonna add some interesting spice today. Now, I know these aren't don't actually come from the south, the southern United States, but it's going to kind of give us a southern flavor, and this is my point, okay? So I'm going to use some, uh, first of all, some salt, some smoked cypress sea salt, and obviously that doesn't come from the south, but um, it's smoky, and it smells fabulous, it tastes good, and it almost is like it's uh, a hickory flavor. So that's what I want for my salt. It's gonna go all over. Now feel free to use just plain salt if you want. Next, I'm gonna add pepper. Of course, that goes after salt. Today I'm using these black can pot peppers. Now these are come from Cambodia. Yes, they don't come from the Southern United States, but they're pepper and they're gonna be tasty. So I'm gonna freshly grind them up, crack them up. I don't want kind of a medium crack. I don't want them really chunky, but I don't want it super fine either. That was about 12 peppercorns. I might need more, we're gonna taste it later. Into my pan. There's nothing like freshly ground spices. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of smoked paprika powder, two different varieties. Now they have three different kinds. They have sweet, they have bittersweet, and they have hot. Today I'm going to add some of the sweet, and a little bit more of the sweet, and a little bit of the hot. I'm gonna add a little bit of the hot first, about a quarter teaspoon of it. Now I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon of the sweet. It is smoky. It is savory, it's so delicious. This stuff comes from Spain. This is La Chinata smoked paprika powder. This is what it looks like. You can get those, you can find them online at lachinata.com, but you can also get it at qualfirst.com. You can buy it there. Um, yeah, this is a dr cool Drogaria spice grinder that comes from Qualifirst as well. And the Campot peppercorns, you can get those online, but you get them at campot-pepper.asia. That's where I got mine. So now we're just gonna stir this all up. And now it's some sitting time. If you feel like you need to add a little bit of water to keep things going, make sure you do that. You don't want anything to stick to the bottom. So if you need to add a little bit of butter, do that. 
This is gonna be fantastic. Okay, so this cabbage has been going for about 15 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes, and look how much it's wilted down. That smoked paprika has colored it nicely. It smells heavenly, to be honest with you, and uh, I'm pretty happy with this. This is gonna go for probably another five to seven minutes just to finish its cooking and make sure all those little pieces, especially the ones near the core or near the veins of the leaves, um, the harder parts, are all the way tender and cooked. Back on another five now, minutes or so. if you wanted to, you could have fried up some bacon at the beginning, some pancetta, some prosciutto, some back bacon, whatever you like, you can use, okay? Tasty sausage would be really fabulous in here. But if you wanna do more of a vegetarian type, minus the bacon fat, of course, you're good to go. That's tasty as well. Now's a great time to add just a pat of butter. Okay, my cabbage is done. As you can see it, it looks pretty, but I taste tested it. The salt is right, it's spicy enough, it has enough pepper, it's coated enough with butter, etc. But sometimes when you do cabbage, every now and again, it needs to be sweetened up a little bit, just for my own taste. So sometimes I'll add like maybe a half of an apple, a nice crisp apple in there chopped up. That sweetens it up beautifully. Or just about a half a teaspoon of sugar. Now, put it back onto the stove top, mix that in, let it go for a couple more minutes, and get your plates ready for dinner. Okay, my cabbage is done. Let's take a look. There we are. I'm gonna try some for you too. Oh, it looks fantastic. Check that out. Look how pretty that is, right? So you can do a lot with a little bit of cabbage. It's pretty inexpensive. It's extremely tasty. People will probably be going for seconds and thirds of this cabbage because it's super tasty, the smokiness. You can like trick people into thinking that you actually put meat in. Sometimes that smoky flavor really helps you enhance that, right? Mmm. Mmm. Perfectly tender. That's tasty. And I know it's good for me as well. Plus it's just tasty. Just for no reason. Mmm. Mmm. That's perfect. If you need to re-season with salt and pepper, do so. Um, but at this point, I don't. I'm happy with what's going on. Anyhow, that's how you cook fried cabbage. I hope you try it. It's easy, it's simple, it's inexpensive. You'll like it. You can feed a whole bunch of people. Make sure you okay. check out Alpha Beta Pie. Shout out to all my Alpha Beta Piers. Shout out to Jules. And uh, I hope you follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifu.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cookingwithkimberly.com. Make sure you check out Cooking Like Alpha Beta Pi, the whole web series, okay? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. <laughs>